Hey guys, uh, this is Vex here. Um, I've been asked by a couple of people how to do my uh, technique uh, for the shading texture. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's probably a way a lot of people do it anyway. Um, but I'll show you. Uh, bear with me, this is my first tutorial. Um, so let's begin. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get a new artboard like so. And then we want to get the rectangle tool and place it on top of the artboard. If you hold down shift, you can get a more accurate square. And all I'm going to do is go to the top and click to align horizontal and vertical alignment to the center of the artboard, like so. Uh, do make sure that it's on aligned to artboard and not aligned to se selection. Uh, you you get really confused if it's not aligned to artboard because the shapes will disappear. So as so, we have the square. We want this square to be this green. So if we go and get the eyedropper in, or choose whatever color you want, but now for this purpose, I'm going to use this green. Um, next, we want to put another square on top of this square. So we've got two layers now. Again, hold down Shift and put it to the center so everything's correct and there we have it um, then we go into the gradient click on the gradient and you can play around with how dark you want this technique to be so I'm just going to have it about here maybe here and we're going to hit 120 at an angle make it probably look a bit darker and there we have it. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to be using the layer panels shown down here. Uh, I'm just going to make it really basic and simple uh, and show you how to do this technique on top of uh, flat color rather than use layers. But if you do work with layers, uh, by all means, use the layers. Um, so right now we have a gradient on top of the block color. So next we want to do is we want to hit effects and we want to go to texture and hit grain. I'll zoom out. As you can see, you have this technique. Um, make sure you hit on grain. Um, I have mine about 58 and 30, but depending on how dark and light you want it, depending on where you want it really, um, the more lighter it's down here and the more darker it is up here. I have mine around 50 and 60, so we'll just put it on 50, 58. And again with the contrast, uh, you know, it depends on how you how you want it. And I have mine about thirty. The grain type has to be stippled, stippled. I really don't know how to say it. Um, so as long as you click on that, it will be the same technique as mine. You can use sprinkles and speckles, etc., for color onto other color but I'll show you that in tutorials to come so for now I'll just keep it on the stifled and the grain and click OK and as you can see we have this uh, technique we have the grain uh, on the gradient pretty simple so far um, not too hard to follow along so now that we've got this uh, we want to take the white out of the out of the black, so we can just see the color coming through. And this is really simple. All you do is go to the transparency panel and go into your blending options at the side. Uh, just click from normal to multiply. Uh, there are probably other ways you can do this, like the overlays. Um, again, just play around with some of these options. Um, some of the blending options can be for different things, so just just play around. Uh, but for this purpose pick multiply and there you have it you have the technique down it's a lot darker than on the left uh, but again you can change that like so 
Don't be scared to um, do it in any shape you want. Uh, I've just done it as a square for this tutorial. I mean, you can have it for circles, you can have it for absolutely any shape you want. Um, so for example, I'll just take, I'll make another artboard and I'll quickly show you how to create in different shapes. Uh, just grab the pen tool, you can do it how you want. Uh, shape like that, just made that up. Um, so again, it's already, I mean, it's already, it's already, uh, we'll put that green. Uh, and again, we'll put this underneath. So we've got, and this is on top. Uh, again, just all you do is hit the gradient, uh, however you want it. Effects, grain. Yeah, look, that's good to me. Make sure everything's correct again. And then, as I said before, transparency. No, the bump apply. And there you have it. it. You can literally do it in any shape. And don't forget, you can even take away from the transparency. So. It's really, you know, it's really faint. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, have fun with it. Create any shapes, do any designs, and just use this texture. Um, it's a really simple texture. I hope I've shown it as best as I can. Um, come back in other tutorials for, for like strokes, um, shape building tools, and uh, we'll have fun doing them, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. See you later.